WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Every sector is trading to the downside with inside the S&P 500 as well. Dow's off 123. S&P's down 31. NASDAQ's off 180. That's one and a quarter percent. Russell's down a half a percent or eight points. One and a quarter percent for the semis. That is a 42-point move. Gold is off a buck. Silver's down nine pennies. And the U.S. dollar index is down as well. It's down about 16 cents right now. Light sweet crude is off 31 pennies. Natural gas is up 18 cents. It's taken out the top of a daily profile. That's encouraging. And a 30-year treasury down 10 ticks. Printing out at 111.06. What's all that mean, Jelly Bean? Let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini, upper left hand side. Turns out yesterday was a bullish piercing candle that confirmed a buy the D point pattern. The only way that gets negated is a close below 42.35.50. Now, price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile out there. So, we're going to call yesterday's signal neutral. Spot volatility still well above its 50-day exponential moving average. That always gives sellers the edge. The NQ also has a bottom. It's a TD9 count bottom. That formed back here on September 27th. That level was tested yesterday and held. Price right now is trading below the bottom of its profile, 14,771. U.S. dollar index formed a road momentum indicator top yesterday. Price is trading lower, although it has not taken out yesterday's low. I'd say that's next key level of support, 106.245. So far, today's low, 106.25 out there close below that would suggest at least getting back to support, which is the top of the daily profile at this point in time, 106.10. Gold has a TD9 count bottom. Silver has a wave seven bottom. Both of those are testing those bottom signals. Gold would negate its TD9 count bottom with a close below 18.30.90. Hard to believe that it'll do that if the U.S. dollar index is pulling back, but it's a possibility. If we take a look at light sweep crude, it's trading below profile levels, likely headed lower. There's a TD9 count breakout area in the daily time frame. I don't recall what is off the top of my head. Maybe during the Trader's Edge show, we'll be able to figure that out. Natural gas. Can, excuse me. <coughs> Can it close above? Three dollars and seven cents. Can it do it for two consecutive days? If it does, we likely have some. <coughs> wow. Some kind of breakout and price targeting its most recent swing point. That's in the range between 3.284 and 3.485. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us, and I'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.